guys, welcome to another episode of Tish's Table. Uh, it's still winter time, and so I kind of want to do some comfort food, so we're going to work on some risotto today. Um, it's still cold here. We're in the dead of winter. I'm in Northern California. Even though we're in California, it's still a little bit cold. So I want to do something nice and rib sticking. So today, we're going to work on some risotto. Uh, this is going to be a vegetarian risotto, but you can certainly kind of modify it any way you want. Today, we're going to have some asparagus and some tomatoes, but you can add mushroom, you can add scallops shrimps. This recipe is totally versatile. So stay tuned and let's see what's cooking. All right, guys, for the risotto, um, it's pretty, pretty easy. The only thing that is going to be kind of cumbersome is that you have to stand and actually stir it for about 20 minutes. Uh, but let me run through the ingredients list and we're going to start, start the process. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to let that, I've got the heat on, uh, right now I have it on medium high. I'll end up turning it down later. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to this too. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to toast um, the oborio rice, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm adding some olive oil. That's probably about, maybe about a tablespoon or two of olive oil. And talk about the oborio rice really quick. So this is oborio rice. Um, it's usually what they make um, risotto out of. It's a short grain rice. You can see that's very short grain and um, the short grain rice has more starch in it which is why when you eat the risotto it's kind of creamy and thick um, and stuff like that so usually long grain rice like basmati rice or jasmine rice um, the grain stays separate this kind of has a lot of starch and it kind of releases the starch when it cooks so we're going to put this in here and we're going to toast this up we're also going to add some shallots I just kind of Diced up some shallots. If you don't have shallots, it's totally fine. You can just use a uh, use an onion, white onion, yellow onion, it's no big deal. So we're gonna toast this for a few minutes. And if you see over here, I've got some liquid. This is gonna be a vegetarian risotto, so I've got vegetarian um, broth over here. If you are doing a different type of risotto, say you want like shrimp or chicken or something like that in there, you can use just regular chicken stock but you want to keep this liquid warm. And we'll see why here in a minute. So we're gonna stir this for a few minutes. We'll salt and, paper, we'll salt and pepper, excuse me, here in a, in a few minutes. But I just kinda wanna get this butter melted and toast it. So right now in the pot, we've got some olive oil, butter, shallots, and arborio rice. And that's about a cup of arborio rice. So we'll do this. I'm gonna let this sit for a second. Um, you don't want to get it super brown, but you do want it a little bit toasty. So this is gonna take just a couple minutes to toast. We are a little toasty with our risotto. You can see it's kind of getting a little bit toasty. I added a little bit of salt, and the reason why I added a little bit of salt is because we are gonna add some Romano cheese. You can you can add Parmesan cheese if you want to, if you, if that's what you have on hand. Um, but you can kind of use the salt um, and just kind of be mindful of it because that cheese is a little bit salty. So uh, I didn't add that much, but I am going to add some pepper right now. So just a little bit of pepper and we're going to add some white wine, some Pinot Grigio. It's a dry white wine. You can use Chardonnay if you have it, but Pinot Grigio is better. Um, this is about, um, this is about a half a cup. You can add more if you want. And you're not going to, you can definitely feed it to your kids, feed it to people that don't drink alcohol because it's going to, it's going to cook out. We're just looking for the flavor of that. So we've got that. Okay. So here's the, here's the thing with the risotto. We've got hot stock here, which you want to make sure you keep it hot. I've got my ladle here. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to scoop and stir. You're going to scoop and stir. So let's try. So we've got one ladle, we'll do that, and we're going to stir. And as this, as we do this process, it's going to get creamier and a little bit more thick. And um, you can add as much stock as you want. This is about four cups. We're going to see if it's going to take it all. It, it may, it may not. 
Um, some people like their risotto a little bit more stiff where you can eat it with a fork. Um, other people like it a little bit more creamy where you're having to use a, having to use a spoon. So let's go ahead and uh, add some more. So it's already kind of getting creamy if you could see that. We're going to add some more stock. Stir, stir, stir. And we're going to keep doing this process until we are good with the thickness and good with the creaminess. And then I uh, will add some cheese. Today I've got asparagus and um, some cherry tomatoes to add to it after we finish. You can see that here. We'll do that at the end. And then we'll have our finished dish. All right, guys. So I've added all of the liquid. Um, like I said, sometimes it takes all the liquid, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so my risotto took all of the four cups of liquid and you can see that it's very, very creamy. It's thick. Um, so we've just got a couple more things to add and then we can plate it. So you can see it's kind of, it's very thick. Um, so now I'm going to add, <clears throat> I'm going to add that Romano cheese. You can use Parmesan, like I said before. Um, and like I said before, these cheeses are kind of salty. So you just want to kind of be mindful of that when you are adding salt to the beginning. So let's go ahead and add this. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. You can always add more cheese. Like if you feel like that's not enough cheese, um, definitely add more cheese. I'm going to turn the, turn it down a little bit. So look, it just thickened up just that quick. All right. I turn the uh, heat down to medium low and we've got some nice thick risotto. I'm going to add, now this is, this is cook's choice. Um, I'm doing a vegetarian one today. So I've got, I roasted some tomatoes or sauteed some tomatoes and some um, asparagus. I just cut them up in by size, by size pieces. Um, you can use anything. You can use mushrooms if you want. Um, I've used scallops. You could put peas in there if you want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dump this in here. And essentially it's done. I'm going to turn the, the heat off. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and turn the heat off. Stir this in. I am going to add a couple of, when we plate it, I'm going to put some fresh herbs on there. Um, just because I like fresh herbs. So this is it. That's the risotto. It's nice, delicious. Um, I can't say it's light because it's not really light, but it is comforting to you. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and plate it and then uh, that's it. Mm -hmm.